Hello guys, it's Kim and Hafer and this is my 2016 slash Black Ops 3 year in review. So I'm starting at the first Black Ops 3 video I uploaded and I'm ending today or for what's for you yesterday and that's the 31st of December 2016. I'll be going through some important videos uh, as the year goes on together with some statistics about the year. So anyway, let's get straight into this. Black Ops 3 started off on the 27th of August with the beta. I uploaded the full match, my first full match of the beta and that was it. Nothing special, just that match and it marks the beginning of a new Call of Duty game. Next up on the 6th of November I uploaded my first full match of the Black Ops 3 full release. Played with Carrier Preddy, was a TDM on Nuketown, and it went pretty okay, just an average first match. On the 5th of December, I uploaded a video that I to this day do not know why it got that much success. I uploaded a video discussing why I switched to Bumper Jumper Tactical, the button layout, and how my Dark Matter grind was going. That video is at nearly 3000 views. So, yeah, pretty awesome and I still do not know why. Uh, probably because it has two rather talked about topics in the title. Might be that, might not be, but anyway, in my opinion that was not one of my best videos, but I'll take it. Next up on the 15th of December I uploaded one of my favorite nuclears. It was my first nuclear in Black Ops 3, first of many, and yeah, it was a hard nuclear to get because I was rushed for time because I had to go, but I still wanted to get the nuclear. I died on my 30th kill, but I got the nuclear, I was happy, and that was it. That was the match. So on the last day of 2015, I uploaded my second nuclear. And if I would have to give you a top 3 of favorite nuclears in Black Ops 3, I would say this one is second. My first nuclear would be third, but we'll get on to the first one, well, my favorite one, later on. So this nuclear was in hardcore, which is not easy to do. It's really hard because you die basically in one or two shots. I went through the whole nuclear, basically flawless. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this nuclear was spread out over the two halves of domination, but still, it was practically flawless, because I couldn't get hit. And yeah, still an amazing nuclear, it was just a random commentary, like talking about the things that popped up in my mind back then. And that was it. That was the end of 2015, and let's get straight on to this year, 2016. I started off 2016 with 87 subscribers, 14.7k views, and 346 uploads. Remember that, because that's going to return at the end of this video. On the 10th of January, I uploaded my Dark Matter being finished. I uploaded the two matches that it took me to get the 50 last kills I needed with the L car to get Dark Matter. And the 10th of January is kind of early on to get Dark Matter. That's just over, that's two months and four days into the game's life cycle to get gold on every gun. I'm not going to get there at that time in Black in, uh, Infinite Warfare, that's for sure. So anyway, that was an amazing moment and it was an honest reaction that I had at that moment. And that is Dark Matter done! I will remember that as the fastest I've completed the game, probably. Towards the end of January, I decided to have a little stream. And that stream turned out to be really good. I dropped 100 plus in it. Yes! I'm at 100 kills. And on the 1st of February, I uploaded that 100 plus as a full gameplay standalone on my channel. 110 to 7 remains to this day my most kills in a match, and I'm proud of it. I dropped 100 plus, and that's all I needed to do. Later on in a month, the 14th of February, I uploaded my 100 subscriber special. I went back. I looked at some older videos that had a special place in my heart for whatever reason. And I could do it again and add some more videos. Maybe we'll do that later on, a lot later, but we'll see. 
Anyway, this video takes a, a special place in my heart, as I never really expected to hit 100 subscribers, but I'm grateful for it, and now we're at 161, and I'm even more grateful for it. February also marked the month that I bought my scuff controller. It arrived at the end of the month, I did an unboxing on the day it came, and a couple of days later, I had done a review for it. That review remained to this day, the most watched video I uploaded in 2016 at just over 700 views, which is amazing. Honestly, thank you. Um, I was hoping for it to do well and it did better than I expected. I, I thought it was going to get like 100 to 120 views. 700 is really good, so thank you for that. On April Fools, the 1st of April, I uploaded the first of a new series, a series I do love, but it's really hard to make. That series is pure torture. In the first episode, I went around the Nurburgring, uh, tracked the Nordschleife of the Green Hell in a Lotus 49 without any assists. It's a difficult car, a difficult track, and it's pure torture, so everything was made as difficult as possible. But I would say I did pretty well. And I stole her again. So, hey, at least I can drive for, uh, a bit. The 22nd of April has to be my favorite day of 2016. It's the day that I received my Elgato HD 60S. Oh, that's nice. That's fancy. Day Zero Edition. And so it was a pre release version. I, uh, Elgato sent it to me to test it out, uh, to do whatever with it. I was one of the lucky 500 to get one and I'm grateful for it and it really puts it in perspective what I've achieved. Like I was granted the chance to do this and I'm really grateful. The 22nd of May marked a new series which I have yet to return to but I sure am planning to do so when I get a little bit more time and that is Who Still Plays This? A series in which I go back to older games just to have a bit of fun, montage up all the funny and good clips and show them to you and show why these are some good old games. And it was Halo Reach which kind of started my Xbox adventure. So yeah, anyway, a good series I want to return to and I definitely will do it later on. Three months later, the 22nd of August, I got my hands on a pre-release, well it's an alpha code, for Titanfall 2. I got the chance to play it, I was one of the first 20 on Xbox to get a code for it and I played it a bit and these were my first thoughts on the video. To this day <laughs> I'm being told this is my, well voice wise, this is my best edited video. The voice quality apparently was so good that Preddy even asked me if I had bought a new microphone, which I hadn't for the record. In the afternoon of the 22nd of September. I had to make a video. I did not have any gameplays and I didn't know what video to make. So I decided to make a Vegas tutorial on how to use a transparent intro in your videos. That video kind of did really good. It got over a hundred views and I don't know why really, but it was really well accepted. So that's why it's in this list. It's again one of those videos you never expect to do well and then suddenly they go boom on you. And this was one of them and I still like the video. I, I think I was well made. Uh, I, I explained everything really well. So there is that. Later that week on the 26th of September, I uploaded the first in a new series. The series is called Vlogs of a Belgian. It's still running to this day. I'm on week 9, which will be uploaded together with week 10, just as a little announcement. And it's just a series in which I vlog throughout my week. And it was well accepted. Most of those videos I've done really well are really well accepted. So I am going to keep doing them as long as possible, whenever I can. And again, I hope for it to do well, but I did better than I expected. So I'll take it. November the 4th marked the release of Infinite Warfare and that's the game I'm still focusing on at the moment. And it was also released together with Modern Warfare Remastered, not to forget. And 
I uploaded my first match of it on the day it came out and I actually got a quad feed in a match. As with every video, it's down there in the description if you want to watch it. I highly recommend you do so. Next up, we have my first Juggernaut medal in Infinite Warfare. If you don't know, that's the dirty kill streak. Previously, the nuclear, the vicious, whatever you want to call it, it's a dirty gun streak. And I got it on my second day of playing. Didn't notice so until I uploaded this video. And that's why I'm recommending you go watch it just for the gameplay. You can turn off the audio, just watch the gameplay. Truly one of my best matches in this game. The last video of this year is the best class setup for the Moral LMG and Infinite Warfare. I uploaded it on my birthday, the 30th of December, and I like the video. I like the concept of it. I like the class that I made for it, and I'm still using it. And it's just one of my favorite guns in a game, honestly. And that video has run throughout the year, so let's just look at the statistics at the end of this year. 2016 ended with me getting 161 subs, 22.1k views, and 585 uploads. That's an increase of 74 subs, nearly doubling the amount of the 1st of January, getting 7,500 views and uploading 212 videos. Those are amazing stats. I'm really proud of it. Really proud, actually. So thank you. Thank you all for this year. And I honestly hope you've enjoyed this. I, I can't stress enough how happy I am with this year and how much I'm grateful for all of you viewers to have stayed with me throughout the year. So, out of the uh, bottom of my heart, big thank you, and I'll see you for the rest of 2017.